Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to rig an engine valve in Blender. Let's get started. We have a model that consists of a camshaft and valve. I will share the download link in the video description. The camshaft rotates around its axis and pushes down the valve. The spring pushes the valve back. First, create a rig using a rigid body slider constraint to push down and back the engine valve. Press numpad 1 to switch to the front view. Press shift A and add a cube object. Move the cube upside. Click the Physic Properties tab and add a rigid body. Press the space bar to play the simulation. As you can see, the cube falls by the gravity force. Let's switch the rigid body type from active to passive, so the cube will stay in place. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about all rigid body settings from the top link. In the same way, select the valve and add a rigid body. The rigid body type will be active this time. All right. Now we're going to add a slider rigid body constraint between the cube and valve. First, select the cube, hold down the shift key, and select the valve. The valve should be the active selection. Go to the object menu, rigid body, and connect. So the empty object will be added. Select the empty object and switch the rigid body constraint type to slider. We want the valve slides on the global z-axis. However, the slider constraint works on the x-axis of the empty object. So, we need to rotate the empty object 90 degrees. We can also limit the movement on the x-axis. Let's enable the limit x-axis option. When you play the simulation, the valve slides one meter on the negative x-axis. If you set the X lower value to negative 0.5, it slides 0.5 meters. We want to keep the valve in place, so set the X lower value to zero. That's it. All right, let's animate the camshaft now. Ensure that the timeline cursor is at the first frame. Select the camshaft, hit the I key, and add a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 40. Press the R key, then type 360 degrees and hit the Enter key. Hit the I key and add another rotation keyframe. Go to the first frame and play the animation. To make the animation loop, go over the Timeline Editor, press Shift-E and make it cyclic. All right, we need to add a rigid body to the camshaft to push the valve down. Add a rigid body. Play the animation. As you can see, the camshaft falls and collides with the valve. We want the camshaft to be controlled by the animation system. To do that, enable the animated option and play the animation again. That's it. However, it doesn't move along the global Z axis. To do that, select the valve and hit the N key to open the right panel. Go to the Item tab and lock the X and Y location axes. Also, lock the X, Y, and Z rotation axes. Play the animation. That's it. However, the valve hops up a little bit when it is back. To fix this, select the empty object and set the X upper value to zero. There we go. All right, let's create a spring to push the valve back. Add a circle mesh. Rotate the circle 90 degrees on the x-axis. Hit the G key and move the circle down. S key to scale down. Press Ctrl A to apply the rotation and scale transforms. The circle will be the profile of spring. We will apply the screw modifier to make a spring. First, we need to set the origin of the circle to the middle of the valve axis. Select the valve, press Shift S, and cursor to selected. Select the circle, right click, set origin, and set the origin to the 3D cursor. Click the modifier tab and add a screw modifier.
Set the screw value to 0.4. Set the iteration value to 4. That's it. Set the steps value to 32 to have a smoother spring for the viewport and render. Let's give another color for spring in the viewport shading. Click the Object Properties tab, open up the viewport display section, and select any color as you wish. Alright, it's time to rig and simulate the spring. Go back to the Modifier tab. We can simulate the spring using the drivers for the screw value. If you want, you can watch the tutorial on how to use drivers from the link. Go over the screw value, right click, and add a driver. Select the valve as a variable object. We want the spring to stretch and compress when the valve slides on the global Z axis. So, switch the driver type to Z location. As you can see, the spring is stretching on the negative Z axis. It's because the valve has a negative value at the starting position. To fix this, select the valve and apply the location. That's it. Play the animation. It's working. However, it's stretching too much. It's because we created the spring in four iterations. To fix this, right-click and edit the driver. In the expression box, enter the variable divided by four. Let's play the animation again. There we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.